Hello friends, this video on is matter around us part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so let's see the classification, further classification of uh, mixture. So this part we will take later. We will take later. I am saying pure substances further classified into elements and compounds. Mixture is classified into homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. And what is homogeneous? What is heterogeneous? Uh, heterogeneous if you take one part from here one part from here you see the different in composition for example if you take from here you're getting less oil and this is more oil this is oil and water mixture if you take a mixture of juice you take some part from here or some part from here you get the uniform composition that is homogeneous mixture let's study these things detail. so understand first that matter is classified based on purity into two parts pure substance and mixture pure substance now is come Classic further some classified into two parts elements and compounds. Elements will be further classified into metal, non metals, and uh, metalloids. We'll study that. And compounds are also classified into so many parts, depends on which cr criteria you're looking for organic compounds, non organic compounds, covalent compounds, any compounds. We'll see that. Now you're focusing on this part mixture, right? So this mixture is further classified into two parts homogeneous and heterogeneous. In fact, these are also further classified into various parts, uh, colliders and those kind of things. We will talk about that. Let's focus on homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture first. So what is homogeneous mixture? Homogeneous mixture is a mixture that has uniform component throughout. So let me write uniform component that is called homogeneous mixture for example you take uh, salt in salt you mix some what in water you mix some salt what you get is a homogeneous mixture or you take sugar mixing mix with one glass of water you get again homogeneous mixture or you take some uh, orange juice and mix with some water what you get is again homogeneous mixture right? for example if you take this orange juice you take some part from here and here you will get the same composition ok please note homogeneous but the component is same but the composition may differ and that is something we will talk about later. For example, you take a glass of water. In this glass, you add one uh, spoon of salt. Okay. In another glass, you add two spoon. Another glass, you add three spoon. All these are homogeneous mixture, right? Because you have three glass. Let's suppose in all these glass. One you are adding one spoon, another two spoon, another three spoon. All these are homogeneous mixture, but the composition is different, and we'll talk about that, right? We will talk about the composition of uh, homogeneous mixture. Let's understand now. Homogeneous mixture is a mixture whose component is uniform throughout. So if you take a sample from here or sample from here, you'll get the same thing. Okay, but in case of heterogeneous mixture, uh, it it contains it, it has non-uniform composition non-uniform composition and typically they have physically distinct part example this one this is oil and water you mix oil and water you will see that it will be not it will not mix properly from here, if you take the sample, you'll get more oil. From here, if you take sample, you'll get less oil. Other example can be mud and water. So you mix mud and water, keep it for some time, keep it for let's suppose 10 minutes. And you'll see that mud will settle down. This is the case, you'll see mud will settle down. So mud will settle down here and you'll have water here. So if you take sample from here, top one, you'll get more water, less mud. If you take sample from somewhere here, you'll get more mud, less water. 
even you try to make some uh, thing for example you try to mix uh, sugar with some chana dal or some beets right you try to mix uh, cashew nut with uh, kishmis okay any any two three different kind of dry fruit you try to mix them whatever you get is a heterogeneous mixture okay so these kind of mixture is heterogeneous mixture where the composition is non uniform and they are physically distinct and that's why we see they you can actually make out but in this case there is it's all it looks all same right you can't distinguish between this part this part and this part so this is the example of homogeneous and this is the example of heterogeneous okay so let's take one activity here so we'll take uh, one teaspoon of salt this is salt let's say okay and this is a glass of water now we will mix it so we'll see how we'll do that we'll mix it and we'll stir it now we'll stir it for some time we'll see that all the salt we have taken is dissolved so now what you get is this is what you get is a homogeneous mixture okay in this case what this is activity 1 this is homogeneous mixture see if you see if you take sample from here and here you'll get the same salt concentration second activity activity 2 take some oil and mix few drops of oil in this water what is in the glass now you will see that from here and here if you take the sample the concentration of oil is different so it is not mixed uniformly that is it is heterogeneous mixture the third what you can do is you can actually try to mix a lot of things you have in house for example bhujia raisin almonds and you actually form the real uh, so called mixture which you eat this is again if you see is heterogeneous mix uh point out here both are same right so these two are same and this is different so now if you see you can actually prepare a homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture at your home Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.